So number seven uh, is finding the actual sum of a series, which is pretty tricky sometimes, um, especially because this is not just a geometric series. We have n equals zero to infinity. We have four to the n over seven to the n, n factorial. We want to find the sum of this. So there's only a couple of different ways that we have determined that we have been able to find the sums. Uh, throughout all the strategies you've learned in this class. If it's a geometric series, you know a specific sum formula. This is not a geometric series because we have that n factorial down there. So the only other way that you could potentially figure out the sum is that if this series was equivalent to some Taylor series representation that you knew and you could just plug in a number for the x. So if you think about all of your Taylor series representations, which one does this look the most similar to? And it's a little bit confusing at first because uh, it's a fraction, but it's, it actually is the e to the x. So remember that e to the x is the sum n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. That's actually what we have here, but let me just rewrite this in a slightly different way. 4 to the n over 7 to the n, you could just write as 4 sevenths to the n. So these two are the same thing, but and now this looks like that. So you can see here that the sum of this series is actually just equal to e to the 4 sevenths power. So if a series is not a geometric series, um, then the only way that you could possibly find the sum is if you can find, uh, if you can relate it to a Taylor series that, and you might just have some number plugged in instead of x, that would be your sum. So the sum here is just e to the 4 sevenths power, which is answer choice D.